Hey everyone, this is Jolyn. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my monthly series on the channel, Pot of Fame, where I sit down casually and talk plants and share a handful of plants that is doing good in the collection every month throughout the year. It's a very fun way for me to sit down and spotlight my plants because the collection is so big and it's thriving throughout the year. I think it's nice to be able to continue to do this throughout the upcoming years. So give this video a big thumbs up, especially because we're doing it here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I thought I'd switch it up for the new year and share with you some of the plants in the Las Vegas collective that is doing really well with my lifestyle and the climate and environment here in Las Vegas compared to my main collection in Santa Monica. So without further ado, I have a handful of plants. It is a gorgeous day as we start February, wrapping up January. So I thought it was nice to bring out a handful of plants, sit poolside, and share with you some of the plant babies in Las Vegas. With that being said, I would like to, in the future for this plant year, maybe incorporate more of these type of plants in the Las Vegas Collective now that I know that they've been living here for several months and they're thriving. I know these are the type of plants that do well in Las Vegas that I don't mind shifting from Santa Monica So here we go first plant. I want to talk about is my sense of areas now, this is a very fun update for me to share, not only because it's a sense of area, so that makes me happy that I can incorporate them here in Las Vegas, but also the fact that the variegated types, like the Sayuri, thrives. As you can see, there's lots of new growth, and the original mother plant is in Santa Monica, and it's kind of slow growing in the patio. Now, I have it inside of the studio because the condition of the patio with the weather and the rain it does not like living in the patio i've come to realize that with all of my variegated sense of areas they do not love the patio they have to be inside my more hardier green sense of areas they're okay to be in the patio in santa monica so with that being said i did bring another variegated sense of area over to the las vegas collective and maybe in a couple of months i can share with you the update in a pot of fame but very fun to see uh, part of my mother plant that i brought over giving tons of new growth and that makes me really happy that it loves my las vegas environment and my schedule and lifestyle here of not really being here so that's something to think about especially if you are living in a similar condition as me in las vegas perfect plant to have i have another sense of area to share plant baby that was given to me by kira here in las vegas for my birthday so she had me adopt one of her ripsalis that she had in her collection and this was a plant baby that was gifted to me along with a few others for my little birthday plant haul tons of new growth so that makes me really happy to know that ripsalis also do well in las vegas so that's something that I will take note of when I look at the Las Vegas collection uh, when it comes to adding more plants if I want to shift some from Santa Monica to here this is a good plant to have in Las Vegas with my lifestyle and I'm gonna continue saying that because it's really true I'm only here a third of the month and the conditions is like dry and not as like tropical environment as California so very fun update so I don't think Kira watches the channel, but very fun updates. So thank you, Kira, for the birthday plant. And that's one thing I love about plant life is that if a plant is not doing really well with you or you want to share your plants, you can propagate them and have your plant friends adopt them or give them as gifts if you're not interested in the plant. That's the fun thing about plant life. Another fun update. So much growth in this sense of area. I can't believe it. And I have a handful of sense of areas in this collective. I will try to bring more over as I slowly style my room. I have yet to spread out the plants in my room. They're kind of all hugged right by the window. They kind of love being right there, so I really don't want to move them. But I do want to spread them out. So another sense of area that is doing really good. This one lives on my three tier plant stand. If you guys remember, part of my Las Vegas plant plant more plant stand shopping so that I can get them in certain parts and corners in my room but very fun update so gotta love sense of areas and ripsalises for this Las Vegas. is i believe a baby from one of my epiphytic cactus i think this is the epiphyllum angular the rick rack look at all of the new growth as you can see all this section with the little hairs on them 
are all new grow so fun to see and this was actually part of my original las vegas collective i'm looking at all of the pants that i'm sharing with you in today's video this one was living at our original house three miles down the street so it's been here in las vegas for a couple of years I'm so happy that it's still thriving and living its best plant life here in Las Vegas. And this is living on my plant shelf. So very fun to see. But yeah, I think all of the plants except this one here are new to Las Vegas. And I shifted over to this new house when I started sleeping here. So all of the plants in today's video that I'm sharing except this one are all fairly new to Las Vegas. As they were not living in our previous house, only this one right here another fun update another rip salis and i think i shared my other one in last month's pot of fame for santa monica again tons of new growth very fun to see easy propagator to propagate this plant so easy rip salises are very easy propagators but so fun i love a jungle cacti and i love collecting rip salises so i would love to add more in the las vegas collective but it's doing really well so i can have repsalis in santa monica or las vegas very fun and i have it in a square planter this lives on the top part of my plant shelf getting that dapple lighting throughout the day here we are with my last plant baby wrapping up pot of fame for january i can't believe it this plant deserves an award really it is thriving and living its best plant life and this is my rescue rick rack and i have three mother plants they all look different and they all came from different places i believe i got this one in long beach and it was like not in the greatest condition and i felt really bad for it so i decided to rescue it and all of this here take a look at that and then all of this here it wants to climb and attach poor thing all of this here is new growth ever since i transitioned it here i want to say i brought this over in the summer of last year and it's giving me all of this new growth isn't that crazy i feel bad that it's like giving me some aerial roots and it has nowhere to go uh, but this is living on the top part of my plant shelf i can't believe it how well it's doing in this environment and i really hope that it will continue to grow ideally i mean i would love to fix up the look of this plant because it's not in the greatest like physical condition i would like to somehow maybe to get it more full here but i'm just gonna let it be i'm not picky um but that's something definitely i would like to do if i had it in me to propagate from my plants but i really don't like to touch them unless it accidentally falls when i'm handling them then i'll go ahead and propagate it but if i wanted to i probably would take this section probably root it up in here and get it more full and i would do that to both sections comment down below what do you think i should do but for now this lives on the top part of my plant shelf i'm so so proud of this rick rack doing really well in the las vegas collective but that is going to wrap up very short and sweet pot of fame for january las vegas edition just a casual video before i glam myself up and head out the door to dance i am here for 10 days and i will be back in a month in las vegas so i thought it'd be fun to switch it up and share with you some plants that are doing really well in the las vegas collective now that they've been living in this environment for a couple of months and showing me a lot of progress and that is definitely something that i wanted to see before i start adding more plants so sense of areas and any kind of epiphytic cacti jungle cacti do really well here and i'm so happy to share with you all of these plant babies in today's video i hope you guys enjoy seeing what's going on in the las vegas collective i have a handful of plants that are doing well that i was not able to share in today's video just wanted to do a short and sweet casual pot so with of that thing. being said i hope the santa monica collective will be okay as i am spending most of my february in las vegas and in costa rica so hopefully when i'm back from costa rica i can film maybe pot of fame february for 
the Santa Monica Collective. Hopefully, I won't come home to any dramatic plants, especially with a lot of plants that I got from Florida just integrating into the Santa Monica collection. But very fun pot of fame. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on the main channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel. You get a video each and every day. And if you're interested in any of my resin artwork from small to large or any of my grandma's handmade goods, you can DM me on Instagram, Planting with Julian, Jewel of Hawaii. And I will see you for our next month pot of fame here on the main channel. Aloha from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. Bye. <music>